I'm the uh, captain of the infamous uh, dive ship, the SS Thorfinn, and uh, my name is Lance. I'm pleased to be able to take you on a tour of some of the ships here in Truck Lagoon that have become very big landmarks, or, or watermarks I should say, in respect to uh, diving this location. The Fujikawa has long been a, a favorite, mostly for the attractions of the corals, the fish life, and not to mention, of course, the uh, armaments at the bow and the stern, big six inch guns, as well as the aircraft that are stowed within the holds. The ship was principally being used as the uh, aircraft transport from Japan to this location and locations down this way to uh, bring aircraft that were newly manufactured into Chuk be taken ashore, reassembled, and put into service as they were required during the war. The ship's attractions, um, the big guns are quite interesting, although they are a very old style gun. They have a nameplate on them dating back to about 1886 or something similar. And uh, we believe they came off the Russian ships that the Japanese defeated uh, prior to World War One. And they were taken and put on various vessels here that are in the, in the lagoon now. Um, the forward holds comprise of aircraft parts. The Japanese Zeros and the latest model Zeros are in the uh, number two hold. The number one hold has engines, cowlings, wheels. The number two hold has probably about as many as 15 or 20 fuselages and a, and a wing attached to it in transit to the uh, Island Airport next to the ship's anchorage of Etten Island. The, um, the ship was unloading aircraft at the time of the raid that came in February 1644. Um, a torpedo was taken in the way of number four hole immediately after the engine room and the, uh, the hold uh, or the damage from the hold went into the engine room. The crew apparently according to reports fought their their uh, best to save the ship through the balance of the day, but it gradually settled and sank onto the sands in a depth of about 120 feet, where it sits today, upright. It's a very interesting location in that it has such coral life and, and uh, aquatic life around it. And also the attractions of the uh, interior, the engine rooms, machinery spaces, the interesting cargoes uh, are diverse, ranging from warfare to good times. And in the afterholds, the good times are very evident in that there was almost three quarters of a hold full of alcohol back there. It was beer, sake, whatever other kind of bottled goods that the Japanese were using to entertain themselves during the warfare.